The Philippine Air Force PAF, received two Bell AH-1 Cobra attack helicopters which he received as gifts from Jordan, on Tuesday, reports Defense World. The helicopter arrived Tuesday morning and will be reassembled to put the rotors and launchers. The helicopter is expected to be operational by the end of December, Herma James Esperon Jr. National Security Advisor was quoted as saying by Philstar on November 28. In addition to the Cobra helicopter, Jordan also gave an initial offer of four warships. The Cobra helicopter was shipped with the Russian-made Antonov cargo plane that landed at Clark Field, Pampanga. Manila must cover 45.7 million pesos for maintenance and helicopter parts. Before being turned over, some time before, Philippine pilot and technician personnel were training in Jordan. The Cobra helicopter is a light attack helicopter mainstay of U.S. Army forces during the Vietnam War era, before then out the Super Cobra variant which is the backbone of the U.S. Marine attack helicopter. The Bell AH-1 Cobra is a two-blade rotor, single-engine attack helicopter manufactured by Bell Helicopter. It was developed using the engine, transmission and rotor system of the Bell UH-1 Iroquois. A member of the prolific Huey family, the AH-1 is also referred to as the Huey Cobra or Snake. The AH-1 was the backbone of the United States Army's attack helicopter fleet, but has been replaced by the AH-64 Apache in Army service. Upgraded versions continue to fly with the militaries of several other nations. The AH-1 twin-engine versions remain in service with the United States Marine Corps USMC, as the service's primary attack helicopter. Surplus AH-1 helicopters have been converted for fighting forest fires. Jordan obtained 24 AH-1 FS in the late 1980s, and in 2001 obtained nine additional ex-US Army Cobras. In 2010 Jordan transferred 16 AH-1F helicopters to Pakistan, under a US-sponsored support program that provided Islamabad with 40 AH-1 refurbished helicopters. The Royal Jordanian Air Force has at least one squadron of Cobras currently in service, and is supposed to have used them in combat in Iraq and Syria. Thank you for watching my channel. This video is just an illustration, I hope you can understand it. Thank you my friend.